<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen! You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Hotel Dusk Room 215. Last time we left off, we finished Chapter 3, where we returned a doll to Melissa. We escorted Helen to the restaurant because we were just being nice. We found a bookmark for Martin, and, um... Well, we tried to learn... Oh, and the whole switchboard thing, like, to save Melissa from 218. Yeah, there there was quite, things, uh, quite a lot of things we did. Oh, it's my pager. Ugh, I better call Rachel. Of course, because they never can give me a break. I mean, I get it. It's my job, you know? Gotta be on top of things. Although, I find it weird. It's like, I did my job already. I got those two items. But, still, in a sense, I got I got focused on this whole Bradley thing, and that requires us working with Louie and figuring things out there. So, either way, first things first, let's go ahead and call Rachel. Rock Crown Enterprises, this is Rachel. Don't you have a home to go to? It's more fun talking to you, sweetie. Oh, and I have a message for from Ed. Let's hear it. He says he's going to be late getting back. Went out again, huh? Mm-hmm. He went to see his friend in the LAPD. But I'm supposed to ask if you need anything. So, do you? Uh, not right now, but... But what? <clears throat> Come on, Kyle. If there's something I can do, just ask. All right, I need you to check something for me. You got it, handsome. What am I looking for? I need information on a man named Osterzone. That's a name? Yeah, Osterzone. Guy's a painter, did a picture called Angel Opening a Door. Well, aren't you cultured? All right, uh, I'll call when I find something. Kind of curious why you need info on a painter, though. I'll tell you later. Really? You will? I'm looking forward to it. Just get on it. Oh, yes, sir. See ya, Kyle. Yeah. Kyle, give her the time and day, damn it! Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, great. Who's that? Psst. Psst. I spit all over my damn pop filter. Yo, hide! It's me! Hello! Okay, I can only assume that's Louie. Let's go ahead and check. I brought the you-know-what from you-know-who. I distracted Dunning and borrowed the spare office key, just like old times. Anyway, here you go, my man. The key to room 217. Uh, thanks. All right, I got the room 217 key from Louie. Thanks. Now I can get the show on the road. Just don't get nabbed by Dunning or Rosa, okay? You can't let them know I boosted that key. Don't worry. If I get caught, I'll do my time like a man. Hey, tell me something real quick. You'll learn anything about that fountain pen? Nah, man. I asked Mr. Smith about it, but I struck out. Said nobody named Alan's been here in the last couple of weeks or so. Yeah? What do you think it belongs to, man? I mean, I don't know, but I'm going to hold on to it for a bit. I want to check something out. No skin off my hump. Alright. Good, man, good. But it's back to the grind for me. He finishes yapping, heads off. Well... I guess since we have the the 217 key, I guess I can go... Oh, wait. Jeff's right there. I guess we can talk to him first. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. And it looks like I should be asking you that with the way you're skulking around. Keep asking questions. See where it gets you. Ah, oh, forget it. What do I care what you're up to? Goes back into his room and shuts the door. Moody little punk. That actually probably was a... It was probably a good thing I 
got rid of him because if he saw me entering another room, that probably wouldn't have been good. But, um, I guess we can just go ahead and check this out. Let's see, 217. I used the key and open room 217. It might be dark like the 218 was, but we'll see. Or maybe not. All right. So this is a room where the other Kyle Hyde stayed a few months back. According to Louie, it has been used since. Hmm. Well, let's take a look around everywhere. Anything in the bathroom? Shower curtain around the bathtub. Uh, bathtub's clean as can be. That's definitely a good thing. Toilet's clean. Good thing, too. I didn't want anyone to do... I don't want anything to do with a dirty one. Yeah, I can only imagine. Y you see how it's kind of like outlined little white here, though? It looks like it's just like a bad paint job. It could be just the game, though. Fresh clean towels. I'm definitely taking some of those with me. I'm sure like everybody does when they stay at a hotel. Toilet paper. Man's best friend. Especially nowadays. And another sink you could eat off of. Nah, that's okay. Bottle of shampoo. Mirror sparkly. Rosie even cleans the rooms that no one uses. What a trooper. Well, good. And there's a light above the mirror. Alright, I don't see anything in the bathroom, so let's check over here. What do we got here? Let's see, it's a dresser. Yeah, hello. A couple things here. There's some hotel letterhead here. Several sheets have been already been used. It's a hotel envelope. And there's a lighter in a drawer. This? I've seen this before. Now I remember. This is the lighter Bradley always used. Huh. Okay. This is proof. Now I know about the guy who stayed, about, uh, stayed here six months ago. It was Bradley. Well, that's a shocker. I'm glad we found something here. Let's see if there's anything else. What's under the TV? Oh, it's a fridge. Nice. Uh, television's not turned on. Too bad. I'd like to see the news. Well, television operation hours are right now, so maybe I can check the uh, front desk. I, got, I actually got to go there, yeah, because I want, I want to check the TV. Right wooden table. Another wooden chair. You hope this place never catches on fire. Holy crap, yes, that would be terrible. Uh, the menus on the table. Tea set. Didn't know LA folks liked tea so much. Dude, tea's pretty damn awesome. Leave tea alone. Okay. Don't think there's anything else there. Let's check over here. See, I'd love to see just one bed that looked like it's been slept in. And... Look at that. I was going to say, that, that looks discolored. Looks like there used to be a painting there. I wonder where it went. There's a lamp on the top of the table. Nothing too interesting there. And the small table's on the other side of the bed. Okay, nothing... I thought there's going to be, like, something in that table. I'll check the other one, though. An ugly lamp is attached to the wall. You have to call it ugly? Really? Same phone I've seen in every other room. Uh, hotel brochure, different room, same brochure. There are small tables on either side of the bed. And, well, here's the painting. That's weird. Why is it there? Why is it there? And would you look at that? So that is, an, it's another Apple painting. Let me get out my, my actual, my own notes here. So this time it has four apples, yeah. And this one is in, what, 217? So there you go. We have four paintings of different apples. And it's just... I find it weird. Like, there, there's got to be something up with this painting. It's a painting of some apples. I still don't get why it's on the floor. Yeah. Well, I guess that's important. I mean, like, hey, painting on the floor. You can see the highway from the window. Uh... Man, I, I think that's... Pretty sure that's everything. I guess I'll leave? You know what, though? Hold on really quick. K-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-
Can I lock the door? You ready to use this key to lock? No, I mean, I'm... I want to cover my tracks, but... I don't know if I can. Um... You know what? You know what? Speaking of covering my tracks, how about this? Because, like, I, I just have a feeling that, like... If I ask things on me that I shouldn't have, people are going to get pissed off. So, can I... Oops. Oh, dang. You know what? I had to use it from here. Can I put stuff in here? Like, we never got a chance to put this away. Can I? I stash a small red box in my suitcase. Okay. How come I couldn't do that with a magazine then? Let's try that. I thought I did it before. See, I find that weird. I would assume, like, you want to stash whatever client things you're looking for, but the red box were able to, but not the others. Oh. How about the key? Because I definitely don't want that around me. Oh, there's the key for safekeeping. Um, maybe the lighter? No. I'm not sure what else. Everything else seems okay, I think. The tools... Ooh, you know what? Maybe the tools. But maybe put it back where I found them. Maybe. We'll see. Um... Hmm. I thought I didn't have cash anymore. That's odd. Uh... Maybe the memo? Because that was in the office? There we go. Tucked it away in my suitcase. Because I don't know if like somebody's going to frisk me or anything like that. What about the pen? Because that's, that's not technically mine either. No. Okay. Um, hmm. Because like, the game really didn't specify what else I can do right now. Although, because it's 7, the only thing I can think of to do is check the front desk on the TV. But since I'm here, I'm going to see if I can just return the tools as well. Because um, once again, I, I just I don't want anything on me that I, I guess I don't really need. Okay, it's unlocked. Let's go ahead and put everything away. Nope. Okay, never mind. How about... Okay, you know what? No, we didn't even... We used the pliers and crowbar. We haven't used a screwdriver yet. No, that's still not gonna work. You know what? Screw it. Just screw it. Let's, uh, let's head downstairs. Alright, I'm here at the front desk. I mean, I didn't get any cutscenes. There's nobody here. So, I'm a little confused. But I want to at least check out the TV. There's a TV at the end of the counter. Yes, there is. Let's see, there's a power switch and a channel selector. All right. Uh, what's what's the power on this thing? This that's a channel selector. Hello. Oh, whoops. There's the news. Uh. Wow, is is like booting up a little bit? There we go. Hey, it's news. Yeah, the following are the weather forecasts. Yeah? No? Okay, anyone? All right. Nothing, nothing. It's the news. Yeah, yes, it is. Hey! There's a cartoon on. Yeah, I remember this one. Look how high, high def Pinky Rabbit is right there. Wow. It, wow, wait, is this it? R really? That's the whole point of coming down here? Two channels of the news where one's clear, one's kind of crappy, and then a thing of Pinky Rabbit? Uh, can I leave it on? No. What even? Um. Oh, alright. 
I'm not really sure what else I'm supposed to do. I mean, I guess the whole fountain pen thing is, is something, but it's like... Do we ask, um... I guess we should confront Martin about it, I guess. But at least he's... He's not in. Damn. Hmm. Well, I'm a little stumped, but, uh... Let's check on Martin, I guess. All right, here we are. Maybe we'll get some answers from him. Oh, really? He's not in either? Damn. I... I'm actually confused what I'm supposed to do here. There's that creepy photo of, uh... Melissa's mother. Huh. I mean, okay. What what do I have? I have my I have the lighter. I have the fountain pen. I'm pretty sure I looked all over two seventeen. I, I don't know unless maybe I'm supposed to like talk to Louie somewhere. Uh, I don't know. All right, I couldn't find Louie anywhere, and nothing's happened. Nothing's triggering. So, you know, there has to be something. Here in 217. I I guess I don't think I'm done here. Like I got the item there. There's nothing on the table. Uh, let me check here again. Like I do find it weird the painting is down and like there's but there didn't seem like anything significant with the painting. I I don't know. I wait wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? Is that a, Man, I thought that was like a weird glitch. There's something right here. What's this? It's an old... I got an old photo that was sitting behind a painting. There's a man and a girl in the photo. They look like a father and daughter. I wonder who they were. Whoa! Okay. I... Hmm. I wonder if this is like, um... The thing they were talking about ten years ago. Like, there was like a girl who was murdered and a father couldn't find her and things like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Well, I found something new. I wonder if that triggered anything now? I think it did. Damn it! No, I spoke to... No, oh, never mind, I got it. Ooh. Someone was in the hall. That they were? Like, well, who? Uh, well, I guess I can knock on everybody's door and ask. Uh, I don't know who, what, what else to do here. No one's there. So that's, um, that's Iris. Nobody's there. 214. Nobody's in there. Nobody's in 218. Jeff is 213. Nope. Okay. Um, let's see. Is Melissa and Kevin? Nope. Let's see. 212 is... What? Helen, I believe? No. Um, I guess the only person left is... Summer. Uh huh. Did I check everybody? I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't check my room. Or, you know what? I didn't check the other rooms. There could be somebody in these. Just because it's vacant doesn't mean that I can't get in there, right? I, I I don't know what else to do. Have we ever been inside a utility closet? I, I don't think we have, actually. Huh. Well, we're in here now. I don't know if we need to, but I'm looking around. There's nothing in the garbage can. That's unfortunate. 
This thing's been used a lot. I don't think it will be white again. <laughs> uh, it's a faucet, just a boring old faucet. And that looks to be it there. Excuse me. Let's see, it's a bucket and a mop. I'll mop the floor if you mop. Ha ha ha. Kyle's easy to uh, entertain, I guess. It's a bucket and a mop. Science says no admittance. This would make this would just make me curious. You you a rule breaker, uh, Hyde? Caution and cleaning of progress. Pays to be safe, I guess. Yes, it does. Some cardboard boxes being stacked up in the corner of the room. Some boxes stacked up. Now, if they're going to be the same. Must be cleaning supplies. I was going to say, if they're, if they're going to be the same thing over and over, like, why not just select it all together, you know? Uh, I don't see anything here. What about the lockers? Steel locker, wonder if I could cram Louie into this thing. Why, dude? Steel locker. This one looks like it's standing out a little bit. It's a steel locker. Uh, broom and a huge dust pan. Dust bunnies? More like dust mammoths. It's a mop. Gotta have these so you can want clean floors. Don't know what the hell this is right here. I thought it was like a poster. Uh, it's a bottle of cleanser, generic brand, I think. If it works, I'd say it works, but sometimes you want to spend a little bit more on quality. And... Smells like a hospital. Oh, I do I hate that smell. Uh, and I guess we have this over here. There's a steel locker next to the door. W really? What's so important then? I can't open it. There's no prompt to open it. Do you want me to break into it? It just seems odd it's by itself, you know? I'm not going to get anywhere using this right now. Um, well, nothing was there. Did somebody go back on the roof, maybe? I don't see anybody. They don't, they're not showing up on a map or anything. Huh. Yeah, I, I might be stuck again, but... I'll keep looking around until I find somebody. All right, so believe it or not, it's my own damn room that I just checked right now. And now I'm a little freaked out. Hey, the door's open. I I don't like this. The floor is wet. Is it coming from the bathroom? Why is the floor wet? Well, why was somebody in here? But let's check the damn bathroom, I guess. Um, is the shower on? I mean, if it's not the, if it's not the shower, it's the sink or the toilet. Oh, okay. Huh? What? 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 What the? Hey! Stupid thing won't flush. Why not? Um. Hmm. I guess we can check the tank, yeah? There, yeah, there we go. It was moving a little bit. Hold on. I almost got it. So sometimes uh, these ceramic tank lids can be kind of heavy, yeah? Oh my god, her... Really? It's all it's almost off, guys. I'm getting there. I'm slowly but surely I'm getting there. Kyle, seriously? It's almost off all the way. Just what does that flush now? No, you really want me to take that whole thing off, huh? There. Wow. What a puzzle. There's something in the tank. The hell? Money? A oh, 
come, oh, come to Papa. A stack of cash I was hidden in a toilet tank. The ca the cash was in a plastic bag. Like, literal hundreds. Oh, man, remember, I don't know if you guys remember this, but yeah, like, back in, I think they changed the currency look a little bit. I think it was, like, 2000s, where, like, well, they changed it a couple times already, but uh, before, like, the images in the middle of the presidents were smaller, but now they're humongo. No, but this is no, this is correct how they did it here. And these are hundreds. Like, what's going on? Money in the tank, huh? Oldest trick in the book. How did this get in here? Well, until I find out, I probably should, shouldn't should keep this much cabbage on me. So, probably put it away. Okay. Huh? Phone again. Hold on, I was checking the bat. Uh, whatever. I guess. I hope there's nothing else in there. Who dares disturb me? The phone's ringing. Better answer that. Yes, please. That'll be good. Hide. Hey, Rachel. What's wrong, hon? You sound out of sorts. What happened? Uh, me and Trouble just had a little run-in. You? Trouble? <laughs> I don't believe it. I found a stack of cash stashed inside my room's toilet tank. What? Seriously? Yeah, looks to be about 20 large here. What's it doing in your toilet? Somebody has a high-fiber diet? How the hell should I know? So, what are you going to do? Whoever stashed the loot in my john is somewhere in this hotel. I'm going to find him, and I'm going to ask him a few simple questions. With your mouth or your fists? Don't go and do anything too crazy, Kyle. Last thing we need is for you to get caught up in something dangerous. Ah, uh, don't worry. Don't worry, your pretty little head. I can take care of myself. Asking for moderation will get me nowhere, right? Hey, moderation's my middle name. Now tell me about Osterzone. I've got a friend who works in an art museum. She's looking into it. I'll give you a call as soon as I hear something about your mystery painter. Do it. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, what next? Wonder if anything else is going down in the hotel. I think I'll wander around and see what's what. Okay. Well, before I do that then, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, put the money away because he said he doesn't want to have that much on him. Like literally like twenty thousand? That's pretty nice. I hit the stack of cash in my suitcase. All right. Let's uh, start looking around the hotel then. All right. So after some wandering around, I see Jeff here in the front desk area. So might as well talk to him as much as I don't want to. Hey, you got a minute? What? What are you up to? Seriously? You're looking straight at me and you can't tell what I'm doing? Uh, not really. Well, I, I assume you need Dunning, right? You got business at the front desk? That's right. That's why I'm standing here. What do you need? I don't think that's any business of yours. I mean, why well, gotta be a dick, Jeff? It's the same thing. You're bugging me. Go away, will you? I mean, did you try, and like, I'm just, you know, spitballing here, did you try ringing the bell? Giving some service here? No? Doesn't work? Well then. Come on, Dunny, what the hell's going on, buddy? Uh, maybe I'll check in his office. Because I didn't see anywhere really much else to go. Nobody's in. Well, damn. I looked around. There wasn't any... Um, I didn't see any things going off. Um, I don't know. I never opened that door. Can I go here yet? 
No. Hmm. Yeah, we, we never went in room 111. I assume this is where Dunning lives? I, I, I would think so. No, nothing. Hmm. Well, I guess I didn't go down to the restaurant yet. Or, actually, I didn't go here. I was going to say, I was checking the, the second hallway. The second floor hallway, pretty much. I didn't check over here. Um, nothing really happening, though. Louie? You help me out, buddy? Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll I'll keep wandering around and see where else I have to go. Jeez, after all that running around, I just went back to the second floor where I was looking around earlier, and now all of a sudden Rose is here. Huh? Someone's in a hall. I mean, this game, it, it has its moments where you, like, you gotta trigger stuff, and it, to me, it can be a little blah... But either way, we're, we're, we're making progress. Oh, it's you. What are you doing? I had some business with Summer, but where is he? I don't know. He's not in his room. Oh, things are never easy for Rosa, let me tell you. Gosh darn it, I, if I had to get back to the... And I had to get back to the kitchen right away. Yeah, well, what do you need him for? Oh, but she didn't say she wanted the autograph, right? What do you want with Summer? Huh? What? What do I want? What do you think I want? I want his autograph. Oh. That's right. It's not often we have a best-selling author stay here. Well, you gotta strike while the iron's hot, you know? Sure you do. Wait a minute. Now wait just one minute. Your showing up has given, up, given me an idea, Mr. Hyde. This doesn't sound really good. Oh, hush now. Here, I want you to take this. What is it? It's one of Mr. Summer's novels, of course. Okay. Oh, it's The Secret Word. It's the, the first one he apparently wrote. The name of the book is The Secret Word. Thanks, but I'm more of a sports page kind of guy. Don't get smart with me, mister. Just get Mr. Summer to sign it, okay? Good. Look, I'm busy. Why do I have to... Because I have to get back to the kitchen. That's why. Now stop grumbling. Don't forget, Mr. Hyde. Don't you dare. Look, I'm not... Wait a second. Rosa turns and rushes away. Damn it! Rosa is a colorful character. She, she really is. And if he's not in his room, then... I don't know where else he can be. Is, uh... I wonder if Jeff is still pissed off down here. So that was the only place I actually saw somebody. Oh, hello. There's somebody at the front desk. There's Dunning. That's... I'm telling you, that's why I'm here. Oh, I ain't trying to call you a liar or nothing. It's just... It's been stolen. There's no doubt about it. Well, let me see here. I demand that you start looking. I want this hotel searched now. Look, son. I mean, Mr. Angel, do me a favor, will you? Take one more look through your things. No, I've looked enough, you corn-fed hick. Why am I standing here repeating myself? It's been stolen. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Get off your lazy butt and start looking. Keep your voice down. Ain't no need to start in, in with a screaming and a hollering. You just, uh, you just gotta get the other guests all in a panic. Well, like I care. Besides, it's too late to worry about all that. Look, the guy's already heard. That guy's already heard, and he hardly seems panicked. Eh? Something happened? Yes, it has. Ain't nothing. We were just having a, us a bit of a jaw, is all. Mr. Angel, let me get back to you in a bit. I'll come up to your room as soon as I can. Hey, don't make me wait. He storms away from the front desk. Yeah, that was a... Uh, that was a thing. 
Uh, Dunning, yeah, could you fill me in? And actually, now that we're here, you guys remember from the very beginning when we checked out the vending machine and they said that, hey, if you need change, go up to the front desk? I think, like, now nah, we may be actually be able to do so. You got a minute? Um, actually, let me, let me just see that for right now. I have money, right? Not the stash, but I have, like, a... I have some cash on me still, yeah. You need change? Fine, fine, but just this once, you hear? Oh, thank God. Awesome. Okay. So once I find the last, uh, number... I'll be able to use the vending machine. Or maybe I can use it now, actually, but we'll wait. That's the kid staying up in room 213, right? Jeff Angel? Yep. What were you two chatting about? Ain't nothing. Nothing at all. Forget about it, will you? Wait, hold it. I mean, hmm. I feel if I keep pressing, he's gonna get pissed off. Let me just ask how he is as a guest. What kind of guest is this Jeff guy, anyhow? The worst kind, let me tell you. Guy wants softer towels, guy wants fancy Italian thing for dinner. He's a namby-pamby, whiny little mama's boy when he is. I'd like to introduce his ass to my boot. <laughs> of course, I can't do that. Customer's a customer, after all. I just have to grind, grin and bear it. You know the drill. Pardon me, do you have a moment? Oh, it's Mr. Summer. Hey, I was actually, uh, planning to look for you later. Huh? Do you perchance have a copy of the newspaper? Huh? Paper? Yes, I was rather hoping to read the morning fish wrap. Well, shoot. I um, had one laying around here earlier. Here you go. Take this. Compliments of the dusk. Oh, thank you, my good man. Just throw it on the table in front of the couch when you're done, all right? Well, of course. Summer moves away. Oh. Wait, was that it? Let me double check. Got a minute. What is it? Nah, okay. Um, I guess I'll talk to Martin. You got a minute? Dear me, what is this world coming to? Hello? Dude. Oh, you're just ignoring me. Okay. Can I... Can I look at the paper? Is there... Is... Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. What did Dudding say when I asked about Jeff? Ain't nothing. Nothing at all. Forget about it, will ya? He was about to spill something. I wonder what it was. See, it makes me wonder, like... Did I do something bad for not asking now? Hmm. There's another question mark here. Now let's try again. When I asked about Jeff earlier, you started to say something. You want to fill me in? Ain't nothing. Just another fire I had to put out is all. The hell are you talking about? So what's his problem? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't want to get the other guests all up in a lather, see? So let's keep this between me and you, okay? Yeah, sure. Sounds sounds like something's been stolen. I guess Angel Boy went down to the restaurant for a bite to eat. When he got back to his room, he noticed something missing. Or did he say what was stolen? So what got lifted? I ain't gonna tell you that. What if you're the one who stole it? You just go and hide it. Are you serious? Wait, yes, yeah, you suspect me, man? You think I had something to do with it? No offense intended, right? But I ain't trusting nobody but me on this. You got that? Now I gotta go handle this kid well, with kid gloves so I it don't get all blown out of whack. Hmm. And nothing else to talk about, yeah? Huh. What the hell could have gotten stolen? Hmm. And is Mark going to say anything this time? Hmm. You know, sometimes I fear for our future generations. Hey there, Sparisec. 
Oh, hello there, Mr. Hyde. I must tell you about this article I was reading in a newspaper. It, it seems that there was a burglary in Beverly Hills last night. Quite brazen, really. Uh, the victim was an attorney named Larry Damon. Uh, Mr. Damon appears to be a friend of mine, you see? I do hope he's doing well. Yes, well, I apologize for the tangent. Uh, did you perhaps need something? You know Rosa, the maiden? Well, she asked me for a, for a favor. Am I signing this book for her? Seems like she's a big fan of yours. Oh, but of course! Great. My apologies, but would you mind bringing it up to my room later? I apologize for the trouble, but, uh... Well, why not? I'm writing this thing up to my eyeballs anyway. I mean, you're right there, man! He puts on a newspaper and leaves the lobby. You know, hold on a minute. Can I read the paper? There's a copy of some local rag on the table. The date on the paper is December 28th. That's today. What do you know? Huh. A couple articles here we can take a look at. There's an article about a burglar on the left side of the front page. Home of prominent Beverly Hills attorney burglarized. The Beverly Hills home and attorney Larry Damon was burglarized last night. Police say $20,000 and a pistol were taken from a safe in the study. Oh, really? Just coinky dink. 20 grand, huh? Hmm. The gun, though, that's, that's not good. The perpetrators then fled the scene in Damon's car. The police spokesperson said they were actively pursuing the case. Okay. Article about an art exhibit below the burglary show. Ex Exhibition news. Evans... Evans Collection Exhibition, January 10th through 28th. America's foremost modern art collection is coming to the Central Gallery. The collection features works by many bright young painters. The event promises to be fun for the whole family and get a, and a great way to bring in, or to ring in, 1980. I wonder if uh, Oster Zone is going to be there. I saw a personnel ad on the front page. Hello? Missing person, Alan Parker. I am looking for you. Meet me on your birthday in the hotel where we last saw each other. H. Well, the only H that we know here is Helen. I believe so, anyway. Um, on your birthday, last saw each other. Huh. Well, that all seems kind of damning. All right. I, I guess I found what I needed. Oh. Oh, hey. Man. This uh, this hour is going by kind of quickly, huh? I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go up to our room. Oh, Rosa, what the hell? Rosa's cleaning. Shouldn't she be cooking dinner? Holy crap. Stop. Stop. I'm cleaning the hallway, Mr. Hyde. You'll have to wait. Really? Yeah, I can't move? Look, I just need to get through here. I said wait! Now wait! I'll be done in a little bit, okay? Fine. But I'm glad to see you anyway. Did you get Mr. Summer's autograph for me, like I said? I asked him, but I don't have it yet. You don't? Why not? What's the holdup? Land sakes, it's not hard. Don't growl me about it. Want it done fast, you should have done it yourself. Hell, Summer just walked by a few minutes ago. Hey, walk through here, Mr. Summer. Really? Yeah, I was just talking to him by about a front desk. Oh, well, stop teasing me, Mr. Hyde. It's been here. I've been here cleaning for longer than that. Mr. Summer did not come anywhere near me, and, th and that's for a fact. Wait, well, that doesn't make any sense. He said he was going back to his room, and it's on the second floor, right? So then he had to come through here. Well, usually, but maybe he saw me cleaning and used the other set of stairs. Wait, what? Hold on a minute. What do you mean, other stairs? I mean the stairs that aren't these stairs, the back stairs. Maybe he used the back stairs to, to get to his room. Where the hell are their back stairs at? So where are the back stairs? I just go out the door in the lobby and head down to the right hallway. You can't miss the stairs. They go up to, well, they go up to the second floor, of course. I bet Mr. Summer used them when he he saw me cleaning in these in the ho clean, see, ugh, 
You saw me cleaning these in here. Mm-hmm. Got it. You can go ahead and use them, but you have to remember something. The door to the stairs is locked on the second floor side. Don't forget about my autograph, all right? Promise me now. Yeah, yeah. So I can't go down from the second floor, but I can go up from there. Now, really quick, though, before we continue, let me take a look at the map here. Oh, excuse me, that, that click memo? My bad. Um, I was like, this sure taking a while to load. So, we almost looked at everything in this room, besides that room next to the pantry. Um, well, and the bar itself. We haven't been there yet. I haven't gone to room two or 111. So, I guess the yeah, top right. Yeah, I, oh, I guess I do see stairs right there. It's true. But there's also a couple rooms. I want to know if I can actually get there. I guess it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to check. But where... Oh, that makes sense. Because where, where it says staff only, it does a... Uh, it says right hallway on the map when it, when, you, when you're actually there. So, okay, all right, that makes sense then. Okay, good, 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 good. I think we're almost like it seems like we're kind of almost done investigating like all the areas of the the hotel so far, but maybe. Oh, yep, there they are. Guess these are the stairs Rosa was talking about. But I'm gonna hold off on that. Let's see what we got here. I doubt I can get in here. Yep. Here I am without a key or an axe. Jack Nicholson will be proud. Oh, Dunning. Oh, so this is Dunning's room. So who the hell is in room 111? Or what's in there, I should say? I'm too tired to kick it. I. Yeah. Okay. I should have called first. Um, really? Is there something to investigate here besides the pot of plant? It's a plant of some sort. Wow, okay. that That's wholly necessary. Okay, so that's Dunning's room. That's Rose's room. This is where Mila's at. Doesn't look like anybody's coming to the door. And door's locked. Hmm. And I gotta take a phone call after I'm done with this. There's also storage. I'm gonna take a look at this plant here. You never know. There could be something in these plants. No. Let's see. Anything in storage? Damn. Are they locking me out or someone else in? Ah. Oh. Well, at least we looked. All right. I guess uh, we'll just go up here. And there we are. A door down the hall opens and someone comes out. Oh, it's Dunning. He looks grumpy as ever. I, I guess we'll talk to him. Wait. How do... Weren't you at the front desk? And, I mean, I was going to say, like, did Rosa let you through? He just came from the roof, right? Or maybe the utility closet. Let's talk to him anyway. Even, Mr. Hyde. So what's behind that door? It's not a guest room, is it? Huh? What is this, 20 questions? It's just a utility closet, since you, ha since you have to know. Yeah. Yep. It's where we keep stuff for cleaning and so forth. I was just, uh, trying to find some things. Your bad boy lose more packages? Real comedian, ain't you? Nope, nope, not this time. To be honest with you, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Why's that? Well, some hotel equipment has gone missing. Uh-oh. Oh, God, this can't be good. I'm worried about the tools I have on me now. Wait, what's missing? Some tools from a toolbox I keep in the linen closet. Uh-oh. Someone noticed they're gone. Put them all together, and I bet they, they ain't worth two bits, but still. I'd like to find a thief and take it, out of his, take it out of his hide. Maybe I'll get lucky, and whoever took him will just put him back. Stranger things have happened. 
And some things have vanished from my office, too. Don't matter if, the, if those get returned or not. But I find a thief, he's out of here. That's so. Bet your ass. And to top it off, I, I got still more crap I had to deal with today. Now it's a nutcase guest. Nutcase, huh? Uh... How's <laughs> that? You mean me? No, no, no. Well, you, you must be talking about Jeff. Yep, that's the one. All I need is some punk shooting off his mouth about how something got stolen. So, what got stolen from Jeff? Cash. Money, huh? Couldn't be. Yep, now he's telling me I gotta search every guest things. I tell you, I got a headache the size of Texas. Do me a favor and keep your eyes open, will ya? You see anyone acting all suspicious, you let me know. I want to nip this thing in the bud before it gets out of hand. Sure. Thanks, pal. Alright, I gotta get on it. Wait, hold on a second. Huh? There's something that you said when I checked in that, that's been bugging me. You said there was another guest a while back with the same name as me, right? I did? Same name as you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, I did. I remember now. Could you tell me a little more about the guy? Well, he was tall. He's just a lot nicer than you. Yeah, 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 you told me that already. You got anything besides a fashion report? Oh, that's it. Great. What's going on, Mr. Hyde? Why are you so interested in this guy, anyway? Well, truth is, I'm kind of looking for somebody. Kinda? <laughs> you look and you ain't, pal. So what you trying to find? The guy I used to work with. <laughs> That's so. Sorry, but I don't remember anything else. Hell, I'm lucky I remember my own name. Yeah, I hear you. I'll see you later. Dudding turns and stomps off the continuous search for justice. Okay, so you know what? Can I can I do it now? Because now I'm getting worried that eventually like, he's going to start, like, patting down people. And I don't want to have this crap on me. I mean, I, I hope I don't need him for anything. Like, I never use a screwdriver, though. And I find that odd. Let's see. Um, there. Get some crowbar first. It's time to return this crowbar to the toolbox. Okay, that takes care of that. I mean, yeah, like, the pliers were useful, the the crowbar is useful, but screwdriver? Unless there was, like, a... Unless there was, like, another solution to a puzzle I already did? I don't, I don't see why I needed the screwdriver, but... I mean, I'm putting it away anyway. Better put the screwdriver back in the box. You and I never saw each other, okay? Can I take it again for the hell of it? Oh, give me a screwdriver. Oh, holy crap. Yeah. I can take them back. I bet I'll be happy I found this before all said and done. Yay, you know what? No, 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 no. Let, let's... Let me put that back. Because maybe eventually I can come back and get it. But right now, because he's, like, searching everything, maybe it's better I just put it away until, like, the heat die the heat's died down. So... There is that. Okay. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I gotta return a call anyway. It's close to an hour, so... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. And next time... Well, I want to talk with Martin. He should be in his room now. But... Also, Dunning seemed a little suspicious because he was in the, um... Utility closet. He said, like, oh, he was just looking around for things, but... I feel like I need to take another look in there just to see if there's anything of use. Um, if not, then that's okay. Uh, we'll just deal with Martin, I guess. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play Hotel Dusk 215. Room 215, I should say. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, 
make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.